Yani fanya niwe jasiri Yani burudisha Ikiruka ruka Hosana Aya tumpigia mweshimu ya kinjuri makofi Asa mweshimu ya rais Mimi sababu sijui kuimba kama mweshimu ya kinjuri Utanikubalia ni hubiri kidogo Sababu bishop hamala Aliniambia niwe mpole Na nitakuwa mpole kabisa leo Sababu bishop hamala amesema ni jumapili Na yeye ndia mdosi hapa Wana niambia Monday to Friday hivu alisema Niwe mdosi wake bunge Na nimeona amekuwa kisoma vizuri huko bunge Hasa yale mambo ameongea kuhusu ushuru Na katuambia ma taifa ya liyo stawi ambayo ametembea Ushuru watu huwa wanalipa Na sisi sababu tunataka taifa letu listawi pia Tutaendelea kulipa ushuru Na ni kweli Your Excellency, you know our tax to GDP ratio today is at an average of about 15%. Compared to the nations that Bishop Titus Amala is talking about, a country like France, that is at 43%. Therefore, Your Excellency, wakati ni riskiza pia, yale mahubiri ya Apostle Ken Baraza na nimpongaza sana Apostle Ken, sababu ya metuhubiri ya vizuri. Na mimi kama ningekuwa na chagua Secretary General wa NCCK Uyu Apostle Ken Baraza ningeweka ya kuwe Secretary General ya NCCK Sababu ame tuambia vizuri ya kuwa hata viongozi wa dini Those who have a revelation will not join the shouting matches And the insults that they hear around the country If they have a revelation they will join together and pray for our leaders and pray for our nation because they will have that revelation that the challenges that confront our nation need all of us as a country. Kwa hivyo, Apostle Ken, ile siku wanachagua na NCCK itafadhali omba wakuchagua. Sababu wewe, nimeona, you are just a man of God who is called to serve the people and indeed you have that revelation of service to God by serving mankind. Na pia, maali tulisomewa Isaiah kuminambili mlango wane kuenda watano. Na ikasema na kwa luga ya kimombo that in that day, let us give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his name. Make it known to all the nations of the world what he has done. And proclaim that his name is exalted. Na hapo ya tano ikatuambia also, sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to the world. Na ndiyo maana mweshimiwa rais, in this thanksgiving service, we come to give thanks to God. We come to proclaim his name. We come to make known to the world. That when all nations around us, especially in our region in Africa, are defaulting on their debt through your leadership, your excellency, our country today is debt secure. Our country today is on an economic trajectory that is safe, that we shall not be defaulting on our debt. And these are the great and glorious things that the Lord has done for us. And we come today to give thanks to him and to praise him and to let it be known to all nations of the world that the Lord God has done great things and glorious things for our country. And for that we sing and we exalt his name so that it may be known to the world. Staki kusema zaidi ya hayo, lakini tuendele kumshukuru mungu sababu mengi maku ametufanyia. Hayo yote mwishimua mwangi kinjuri ya mesema hapa. Tulikuwa na changamoto nyingi kutoka sekta ya kilimo, hatukuwa na chakula, sekta ya elimu, hatukujua watoto watu watasomea wapi, hatukuwa na walimu wa kutosha, tumeajiri walimu, watoto wetu ya, wale wa CBC, sasa tunajua JSS kwa wapi, chakula mnakumbuka tukienda maandamano sababu ya bei ya unga. Leo hii tumshukuru mungu, hakuwa.
hakuna mtu Kenya leo hii anatuambia bei ya unga imeshuka kutoka shilingi 260 mpaka 140 ama 35 kwa brand zingine hayo yote tuyashukuru Mungu finally your excellency umeambiwa na apostle Ken uwe mjasiri hivyo kiunjuri anaimba usiwe muoga na usitishike kelele ikipigwa focus on what god has appointed and anointed you to do for this country and your excellency i am glad that you are focusing on that tumeambiwa hapa na mheshimiwa shinali wewe umekataa kusikiza kelele you have focused on what is right for this country and i thank god your excellency yesterday nilisikiza our former prime minister akikiri ya kuwa agenda ya housing ni agenda muhimu kwa nchi ya Kenya tulikuwa na wewe hapa jana ukikagua mradi ambao unaendelea hapa vijana wa Kakamega wameajiriwa hapo wakakwambia usiuziwe uoga usinunue uoga na usisitishe mradi wa housing sababu unasaidia vijana wa hapa Kakamega na Kenya mzima and your excellency because previously you have told us that why this country has failed is because of a few things like incompetence among its leaders this country has failed because of vested interest within the leadership of this country and this country has also failed because of corruption corruption in public service and in public offices your excellency please remain focused if our former prime minister concedes today that housing as an agenda was conceived over 20 years ago when he was minister for roads public works and housing but that housing agenda has never been actualized then indeed is true your excellency that incompetence amongst leaders conflict of interest and vested interests coupled with corruption have killed the dream of a great nation called Kenya. You have a responsibility before man and before God today to make sure that incompetence among us leaders becomes a thing of the past. That conflict of interest and vested interests do not take root and take charge of government agenda in the conduct of government business. And finally, Your Excellency, Ile Mambo Meambiwa yale mambo matatu for the corrupt please hapo usiondoke hata bishop hamala amesema sio maneno yako ni maneno iko mpaka kwa biblia hiyo mambo matatu asanteni sana watu wa kakamega na vile nimesikia hawa viongozi wote wakiongozwa na ndugu yangu cpa fanades wamesema wote watatembea wabunge walisema wakiwa nyuma ya rais Nimesikia chairman walioanguka wa kura mheshimiwa secretary general Malala amesema wasitembee nyuma watembee mbele na mimi nikaona wengine kama mheshimiwa Aseka na mheshimiwa Shinyalu bado ni vijana wakitembea mbele ya rais wanaweza kimbia mimi nataka watembee sabamba na rais watembee pamoja 2027 ikifika tuwe sabamba governor wetu wabunge wote kakamega na wananchi wa kakamega tutanelebea sabamba asante ni Mungu awabariki asante sana CPA Bishop Kimani Chungwa naona umekuwa mhubiri mzuri sana pigie makofi Mheshimiwa Rais sisi kama jamii ya Mrembe Nation tunakushukuru kwa sababu Ulikumbuka dada yetu 